Hello YouTube. Once again. Previously on Livid Play, we talked about some of the best upcoming video games on this season of 2020. If you haven't watched it make sure to check it out. For today, we also bring one of the best topics that many of the gamers, like you, would love to hear. Can you guess? Yes, it's eSports. Esports is a form of organized, multiplayer video game sports competition between professional players, individually or as teams. Although organized competitions were already a part of video gaming culture, esports came into popularity until late 2000 where a coalition of professional gamers, spectatorship, and live event streaming was the major game shifters in its demand. We will head on to some of the familiar video game genres related to esports like Battle Royale, First Person Shooter, FPS, Multiplayer Online Battle Arena, MOBA, and Fighting Games. Now, let's head on to the main event. In this segment of the video, we will discuss some of the esports genres and games related to it. At first, we have Battle Royale. A battle royale is a survival game as well as a genre of online multiplayer video game that mixes up the gaming factor of survival, exploration, and scavenging elements with last man standing gameplay. Battle Royale games include dozens to hundreds of players, who start with minimal to no equipment situation and then must eliminate all other opponents to be the winner while avoiding being trapped outside of a shrinking safe zone. The genre came into existence name with the initial 2000 Japanese film called Battle Royale presenting the same theme of a last man standing competition in a shrinking play zone. Till now, the genre has become a cultural phenomenon and a success to get tens of millions of players within months of their releases. The famous standalone games that have ruled the Battle Royale platform are Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, 2017, Fortnite Battle Royale, 2017, Apex Legends, 2019, and Call of Duty, Warzone, 2020. Next, we have a first-person shooter, aka FPS. FPS is a video game genre centered on gun and other weapon-based combat in a first-person perspective, that is, the player experiences the action through the eyes of the protagonist. Like most shooter games, first-person shooters involve an avatar, one or more ranged weapons and a varying number of enemies. Top-rated games like Counter-Strike, Overwatch, Apex Legends, Doom, Call of Duty, Warzone, and Valorant are some of the famous FPS games which indulge itself on that title. Also, for many of the upcoming games, VR has been the best platform for the ever-growing gaming industry. On the other hand, MOBA or multiplayer online battle arena is quite famed in esports. MOBA being a subgenre of strategy video games, lets each player manage a single character with unique abilities as a part of the team and compete against another team of players, basically on a map with isometric standpoint. In the whole gaming session, the motive is to demolish the opposing team's main structure where the teams are assisted by the auto-generated friendly units moving along a set path. Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne, was one of the first major titles of this genre and the first MOBA for which sponsored tournaments have been held and the legacies are continuing with games like League of Legends, Dota 2 and Smite. At last, Fighting Game is another video game genre, plotted with closed or fixed boundaries and limited characters who will close combat with each other until one is defeated or time expires. Matches are set with several rounds in an arena where each player having special abilities must master techniques of blocking, counter-strike, as well as chain, hits together into a combo. Along with major executions and triumph, games like Heavyweight Champ, Karate Champ, and later on, Street Fighter, Refined, popularized and bridged the gap to this genre. Up to this period, dozens of fighting games have been spawned including franchises like Street Fighter, Tekken, Mortal Kombat, Marvel vs. Capcom, and many more. Now, let us go through some of the games related to each genre. The first stop is PUBG, which is an online multiplayer battle royale game developed and published by PUBG Corporation, a subordinate of South Korean video game company called Blue Hole. In the game, up to 100 players parachute on maps like Arangel, Miramar, Vikendi, and Shanok where they will scavenge for weapons and equipment to kill foes without getting killed. The available safe zone of the game's map will shrink over time and the players are forced to encounter each other to win the game. To celebrate the game sales crossing over 2 million copies, Blue Hole announced a charity invitation event in early May 2017 for 128 players to raise funds for Gamers Outreach Foundation which generated at least 120,000 US dollars from viewers along, with Blue Hole's 100,000 US dollars match. 
Along with the Gamescom event, Bluehole and ESL organized the first PUBG tournament with a pool prize of $350,000 where Solo, Duo, FPP Duo, and Four Man Squad brawled for the segment. Each event marked three matches and players or teams with high scores will win. Regarding the recent eSports tournament, PUBG is running down the road of PUBG Continental Series, where 16 professional teams from Asia, Asia-Pacific, Europe, and North America are competing. The total combined prize pool for this regional competition is $800,000, each tournament will have a prize pool of $200,000. Plus, 25% of all PUBG Continental Series 1 sales items profits will be applied to the additional prize pool. Next on the list is Apex Legends. Apex Legends is a free-to-play battle royale game developed by Respawn Entertainment and published by Electronic Arts which was released on 4 February 2019. This game crossed over 25 million players by the end of its first week, and 50 million within its first month. In Apex Legends, up to 23 person squads glide on an island where the same concept of finding weapons and supplies are applied. The available safe zone on the island shrinks as per the match time and survival of the fittest will win the round. The game is placed in the same concept of science fiction universe as of Respawn Entertainment's Titanfall and Titanfall 2. With potentiality to be in eSports, various sponsors began to assemble Apex Legends teams for tournaments. The first such event was the EXP Pro-Am Apex Legends exhibition which ran on the 11th of July 2019. Furthermore, Respawn and EA announced the Apex Legends Global Series in December 2019, consisting of several online events and 12 live events during 2020 with a total 3 million US dollar prize pool. Also, for this time event, Apex Legends Global Series is going on, so watch out for the updates. Now to left, Fortnite is an online video game developed by Epic Games and released in 2017. The game portrays three distinct game mode versions sharing the same gameplay and game engine. Fortnite Save the World, is a cooperative shooter survival game for four players who will encounter zombie-like creatures and defend objects, Fortnite Battle Royale, on the other hand, is a free-to-play battle royale game where 100 players play to be the last person standing, and Fortnite Creative, where players are given the freedom to construct the world as well as battle arenas. Fortnite Battle Royale in particular became a massive outcome attracting more than 125 million players in less than a year, earning hundreds of millions of dollars per month, and becoming a gaming phenomenon. Back in the 28th of July 2019 solo event finals, a 16-year-old American Kyle Giersdorf, known online as Bugga, won 3 million US dollars as the grand prize and because of that, the craze has even spiked the gaming industry. For the upcoming events, Fortnite players can get a taste of the MR Trios Cup, Lahis Trio Cup, and Hype Night events. With all of that being said let's head on to FPS games. At first, we have Counter-Strike which is a series of multiplayer first-person shooter video games. In the game, teams of terrorists battle to plan an act of terror like bombing and hostage-taking or assassination. On the other hand, counter-terrorists try to defuse the bomb and rescue hostage to win. Counter-Strike was the first series that began on Windows in 1999, next was Counter-Strike Condition Zero in March 2004, third was Counter-Strike Source, and the fourth game in the main series is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Since then, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, or CSGO, has been the soul of major esports tournaments and titled events like Counter-Strike, Global Offensive Major Championships has been organized. For the spoiler alert, the event of CSGO Major scheduled as of May 2020 in Rio de Janeiro has been rescheduled to 19-22 November, due to the global health situation related to COVID-19. Further, the May Major's prize pool will be added to the November Major, so the Rio Major will have a $2 million prize pool. Next, we have Overwatch, which is a team-based multiplayer first-person shooter, developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment. The game divides players into two teams of six, with each player selecting heroes over 30 characters. Heroes have a unique style of play, and the team works together to secure and defend control points on a map or guard a payload across the map, in a limited amount of time. It was released for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Windows in May 2016, and Nintendo Switch in October 2019. Blizzard reported over 1 billion US dollars in revenue during the first year of its release and had more than 50 million players after three years. The game is also a popular eSport, with Blizzard funding, and producing the global Overwatch League. For the recent Overwatch eSports events, 
the game offers Overwatch Open Division, Overwatch Contenders Trail, Overwatch Contenders, and the Overwatch Leaks which is running now. Another FPP game on the list is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege which is an online tactical shooter video game developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubisoft. It was released worldwide on December 1, 2015, and in February 2019, the game surpassed 45 million registered players across all platforms of PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. With the emphasis on heavy environmental destruction each player assumes control of an attacker or a defender in modes of gameplay like rescuing a hostage, defusing a bomb, and taking control of an objective within a room. Likewise, Ubisoft partnered with ESL and later on announced Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Pro League which was held at Intel Extreme Masters Esports Tournament on March 4, 2016. With continuity in Rainbow Six Pro League, this year of 2020 also brought another big event as Season 11 where it got its regional winners Rogue, Space Station Gaming, Team Liquid, EG Fnatic, EG Cyclops, EG Scars, and EG Confirm. Furthermore, the global finals were cancelled due to the COVID-19 outbreak. The Siege fans will have to wait until further news will be published. Now it's time for MOBA games, and the initial play is listed as Dota 2. It is a multiplayer online battle arena video game developed and published by Valve also, a sequel to Defense of the Ancients. Dota 2 is plotted among two teams of five players, with each team occupying and defending separate base on the map. Each of the ten players independently controls a hero with unique abilities and varied styles of play. During a match, players collect experience points and items to be one step ahead of the opposing team, and whoever destroys the opposing team's ancient which is the heart of the base, will win the match. Likewise, Dota is more active in organizing big eSport events so called the International and the International 2019 was able to generate over $34 million. Also, watch out for the Dota 2 Circuit 2020 online. Next, we have League of Legends, which is a multiplayer online battle arena video game developed and published by Riot Games. Inspired from the Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne, the League of Legends also lets players control a champion, with unique abilities and battle against a team of other players. The motive is to devour the opposing team's nexus, a building that lies at the heart of a base and protected by major defensive structures. Each League of Legends match is distinct, with all champions starting with weak stats but increases over time gaining by accumulating items and experience throughout the game. Champions span a variety of roles and blend a variety of fantasy tropes, such as sword and sorcery, steampunk, and Lovecraftian horror. League of Legends is one of the largest esports, with various annual tournaments taking place worldwide. At present, the Tencent League of Legends Pro League is going on, so keep up with the match schedules and enjoy it. Last but not least, we have Smite, which is a free-to-play third-person multiplayer online battle arena video game developed and published by hi -Rez Studios. In Smite, players can control a god, goddess, or other mythological figures, and take part in team-based combat, using their abilities and tactics against other player-controlled gods and non-player-controlled minions. The game has multiplayer versus modes, many playable characters, and has a successful esports scene with multiple tournaments, including the annual Million Dollar Smite World Championship. Also, Season 6 of the Smite Pro League, SPL was wrapped up with the crowned SK Gaming as the 2019 World Champions, SPL is looking forward to next season of Smite Pro League 2020 Season 7. All of the Season 7 event plans have been outlined so, prepare yourself for the Ultimate Smite Pro League. Now, it's time for fighting games and the first stop is Street Fighter. Street Fighter is a fighting video game franchise developed and published by Capcom. The first game in the series debuted the arcades on 30 August 1987, which was designed by Takashi Nishiyama and Hiroshi Matsumoto. The legacies were followed by five other major game series, several spin-offs and crossovers, and numerous appearances. Street Fighter, being Capcom's flagship, is one of the highest-selling video game franchises with a total turnover of 44 million units worldwide as of December 31, 2019. As per the recent update, Street Fighter V, Champion Edition, was released on 15 February 2020 as downloadable content. Victor Woodley from the USA, aka Punk, is currently ranked as the number one in Street Fighter V World Rankings as per SRK data. For the latest esports tournament, the Capcom Pro Tour, 
CPT is featuring the latest flagship title of the legendary Street Fighter series bringing together players and spectators from all around the globe to share their love of gaming. At second, we have Tekken, which is a Japanese media franchise, focused on a series of fighting as well as arcade games, developed and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. The main games in the series revolve around the events, of the King of Iron Fist tournament which is hosted by the Mishima Zaibatsu, where players control several characters to win the tournament. The gameplay is based on hand-to-hand -hand combat with actions like blocks, throws, escapes, ground fighting, combos, and special moves. The series has been universally acclaimed and commercially successful, having shipped more than 49 million units, making it one of the best-selling video game franchises of all time. Continuity in the franchise, Namco released the latest series of Tekken 7 on the 2nd of June 2017. Furthermore, on this season of 2020, watch out for the Tekken World Tour 2020 though the officials have yet to communicate the event information. In the meantime enjoy playing Tekken 7. Mortal Kombat 11 is a fighting game developed by NetherRealm Studios and published by Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment. Based on Unreal Engine, it is the 11th main installment in the Mortal Kombat series and a sequel to 2015's Mortal Kombat X. Mortal Kombat 11 sees the architect of time and Shinnok's mother, Kronika, working to reflash the timeline following her son's defeat and Raiden's tampering with her work. In doing so, she brings the realm's heroes from the past to the present, aligning herself with some, while the rest work to defeat her. After nearly killing Liu Kang a second time, Raiden finds out Kronika's true intention for manipulating them into fighting across multiple timelines. Despite Kronika's interference and attacks by her minions, Raiden gives Liu Kang his power, turning him into a fire god so he can defeat Kronika and start history anew. Also, the defining and best-known feature of the Mortal Kombat series is its finishing move system called Fatality. Players perform their fatalities by conducting a series of violent moves chosen from a pool in the most gruesome way possible. Mortal Kombat fans have been enjoying much of the esports event and the new title tournament as Final Kombat 2020 is integral for the esports community, so watch out for that main event. This brings to the end of this video. Hope you loved it. If you have any suggestions or gaming topics that you want us to feature, feel free to drop a comment and subscribe for new videos. Play like a gamer. Thanks for watching.